for those of you who live in the United States, are you guys watching the NBA All-Star Game? It's Steph Curry is just unbelievable. I don't want to hear it from anyone that he's not the greatest shooter of all time. The man just put 31 points and then 28 points and he won the 3 points contest. Anyways, that aside, welcome to another episode of Things Happening Around the World under 5 minutes or less. Let's go! So, Biden today signed an executive order to expand voting rights and let me tell you why it is why it's so important. For example, he stated that elected officials in 43 states have already introduced over 250 bills to make it harder for Americans to vote. That is so messed up. What? Why take away people's freedom to vote? Like, I get it, you know, some people probably, like, you know, commit crimes. And I'm talking about small crimes, like, you know, sell marijuana and stuff, like, which is bad, but you should not take away their scared right of voting to bring change into the nation. And to be honest, in my personal opinion, I feel like those bills usually affect the minorities. And Biden also said that the House should pass the American Rescue Plan quickly to get checks out of the door starting this month. So I'm so glad he didn't say next month, so you guys should be expecting your checks this month. That is, if everything goes according to plan and we get the House to pass the bill as soon as possible. Speaking of the stimulus check, Ted Cruz, he tweeted, Democrats reject Republicans' ab attempt to prevent stimulus checks from going to prisoners, illegal aliens. Seriously? Oh, come on now. Like, this is so messed up. Do these people have any type of ethical, moral? Uh, you don't have to agree with me, but in my opinion, illegals or prisoners, they're humans by the end of the day. They have needs just like the rest of us. They have families and all. You know, some are truly bad, but I'm talking about majority, you know, because of uh, different circumstances, they end up in prison or, you know, other people try to come here uh, for a better life. They deserve, you know, some help. But that's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. That aside, according to AF News Agency, uh, French billionaire politician Oliver D'Assault got killed in a helicopter crash. Oh, uh, man. So, you know... This makes you think, even if you're a billionaire, you know, one thing that none can escape is death. And, you know, all the wealth and the stuff that you earn, it gets left behind. So it's best for all of us, you know, to enjoy the moment that we live in and try to do good as much as we can so we can benefit others. Wealth is going to go away. Another sad thing that happened um, was in Guyana. According to BBC, 17 people died and hundreds uh, more injured in a series of explosion. So according to the same article, it was because of negligence, you know, of uh, dynamite and stuff that got exploded. So, uh, and that many people died in it. Uh, my condolences are to the families and the friends. So many of you were aware of what's happening in Myanmar, the COPE, and you know, there's so many protests going on because the military took over the government. Well, similarly to that in Senegal, now there have been protests according to Yahoo News. After four days of protests left at least five young people dead. This is so sad and unfortunate. Uh, these people, they get elected and then they, they will stick glue into power and uh, because of that, we there ends up being protests. The Senegal kind of reminds me of what happened in Russia when the opposition leader Navalny got arrested and then there were so many protests in Russia. And now because of something similar in Senegal, uh, the opposition leader got arrested and people came out to the streets uh, uh, along with many other things uh, that led to these protests. Um, you know, my prayers are to all of these people, you know, hopefully, you know, they get their democracy back, whether it's in Russia or in Myanmar or in Senegal. You know, I'm happy that the corona cases are going down, but there's one thing that we should never forget is the people who passed away from this. Around 2.59 million people died from this virus and it affected more than 117 million people around the world. I'm glad that most of them recovered and now cases are going down and there is vaccine that's been made. Um, and we already have three vaccines out available to people to take. Uh, that's just in the United States. There's in other countries that developed it for uh, well, developed it as well. So I'm just glad that things are returning back to normal, even though it's a slow process, but I'm glad it's happening. Anyways, guys, these are some of the things taking place around the world. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow for more. Till then, peace out.